What is up, YouTube? RFI Drummer here, bringing you another NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode series. This is part 14 in our journey to the Monster Energy Cup series. Right now, we have a hot seat is where we left it off from our last episode. Uh, we had two dirt races, and we ran the hot seat at Iowa. So, uh, real quick, we'll just take a look at our season schedule here of what we ran in the last one. We had... 5th at Eldora, 4th at Jefferson, uh, so we'll have Taggart and Eldora, or excuse me, Taggart in Las Vegas, uh, definitely in this video, and we will have our hot seat ride here in the the uh, Camp and World Truck Series. Uh, we're going to change the settings up for the truck race, we're going to go to, I want to try 4 times where, just want to see what it's like with uh, stage racing, 25% race length, still in the legend difficulty, full damage, manual transmission. And without really delaying anything, let's just go ahead and hop into this truck race. We'll go over the points and all that stuff for the Dirt Series when we get back to the Dirt Series. Kind of just makes sense to me. So we're going to do Chicagoland here. And like we have done in the other hot seats, the other three? Yeah, Atlanta, Dover, and Iowa. Uh, we didn't really show the qualifier. We know where we were going to start. So I'm going to do a quick... Oh, okay, so we have that truck. Okay, that's what I thought we were racing. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to do a quick couple practice laps, get qualifying in, and I will catch you all back in the race. All right, so we're doing the Overtons 225 here at Chicagoland Speedway. We're starting 30th is where we qualified. Um, looks like we're actually going to get 29th. Looks like after that, is it? Yeah, 29th. So... We're getting ready for the green flag, and it is at, I wow, early shifted. Uh, we have the green flag out at Chicagoland here in the Camping World Truck Series. Kind of just drop to the bottom here, Quapple. Go to fourth gear. I do like this track. Uh, I can pretty much hold it wide open. The truck's just slow. Yeah, there they go. Go ahead, get on by. There they go. I mean, we're there's, we don't have a chance in hell of a 20 second spot. I don't know why they put me in this, that predicament. <laughs> 30, yeah. But the big question is, we can go 11 laps on fuel. So seven laps left in the stage. So we definitely can make it to the end of the stage fuel wise. Oh man, got a little too low. So we can definitely make it to the end of the stage on fuel. I'm curious what the tires are going to be. Wow, my wheel is shaking on that back stretch going there. There must be, I don't know what's in the track. It's just causing it to shake like that. It is bumpy, though, because I can feel it in the wheel. It's shaking pretty good on these entrances. And on the exits, I can feel it, like, vibrating. So we're uh, just going to cruise here, and I'll catch you all at the end of stage one. And we're coming down the back straight away, and there's smoke coming from one of the trucks. It looks like that. Yeah, it's Timothy Peters, it says. Yeah, so he's blown up. Whoa. Kind of moved up into my groove a little there. But he's not pitting. Now, I remember, I think it was Dover. A caution came out when someone started smoking. So I don't... Ooh, got in the wall there. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. It looks like no caution is going to fly. We'll get through this stage, but uh, brings us in. Brought you guys in just a little earlier than planned just because of that little bit of excitement. <laughs> we got a spot. So we're not finishing last in the hot seats. I think we finished last at Atlanta, but that's it. Dover, where there's two people we finished ahead of. Iowa, we, we finished ahead of somebody. Uh, so it looks like here at Chicagoland, we'll probably finish ahead of somebody. Now, the one thing that was a little confusing, Matt Crafton at Dover, he was smoking at one point, super slow, and he went on to finish 22nd, 23rd, I think it was. So, I, I don't know how this how this works when they do that, but uh, we'll get 30th in that stage, and everyone's going to pit. Yeah, so, it is nice to see that the they do take advantage of the caution flags. Kind of sucks in, in some ways, though, because 
I can't outsmart the uh, the AI in this in this game like I could in NASCAR Heat 2. But that's okay. This is more realistic, and I like realistic racing. So, got the green flag back out here at Chicagoland. Gonna just creep to the bottom here. We're gonna get a good run into turn one, and then we're gonna lose everything. So, a little contact with uh, Corbin there. Yeah, like look at Timothy Peters. He wasn't he just smoking on the backstretch, and now he's just Superman flying down the backstretch past us. So, Robbie Lyons, stay with us. Not gonna. Happen. So unless someone blows up or something exciting happens, we will resume, I guess, at the end of stage two. So we got 31st in stage two. I uh, kind of didn't even realize what lap we were on, so that's why I was quiet majority of that uh, of that lap. Uh, I just kind of got lost in the zone. I was just thinking of some other things that I'd like to do with the channel. Not a whole lot you could do when riding in the back, but just think. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and pit, and so everyone. Obviously, took advantage of the opportunity to pit. All right, you're coming to the green. Be ready. And green flags back out in the air here at Chicago Land. We are 18 laps away from the finish after we cross the line. 19, 19. I could have just looked in the upper left hand. So 19 away from the finish. And we make a move, but I'm pretty certain that'll be really taken away from us. Now. 19 laps left in the fin to the finish. 11. <sighs> Wasn't even paying attention. Just got to looking up at the left hand corner there. 11 laps we can make it on fuel. So. We can actually see some green flag pit stops. And this could become strategy. Do we go with two tires? It's a good question. I think we're definitely going to try it. Got nothing to lose. I mean, we're just here just for the hot seat. If we stick close to the field like this, if I hadn't brushed the wall, that, that could have been a game changer there too. But if we go two tires, if we can save a few extra seconds and we're not too far behind, there's a chance we could at least finish 25th, I think. But we can't keep losing this much time. Yeah, we're losing a lot of time. Six seconds off the leader. We could make that up, I think, in two tires. Stop now. No way we could come out with the lead, is there? There's no way we win. I can't see it happening. That would be, uh, be pretty wild. Win the hot seat. But a two tire strategy could work here. This. Alright, I kind of like this four times wear. Certain tracks, it looks like it's going to really mix it up. But this has to stay green in order to actually try anything. Let's see. We got nine laps on fuel. Short pin's not going to do a damn thing because of the tires. They just don't seem to have any fall off as far as the AI. It just seems to affect our speed. 91 on the front. I'm willing to try it. Willing to try it. We'll probably bring it down here in a couple laps. I'll bring you guys back in when we uh, make that pit stop. All right, so 12 to go. There'll be 11 next time. Bye. I think we're okay to pit because we'll be 11 at the line. We're good for five more laps. I'm gonna wait one more lap just to play it safe. I think we're in our fuel window, but. Not 100% certain. It would be cool if the crew chief, you could like talk with them, like in F1 2018. Like, I guess I could just say 2018. Sounds cooler. But in F1 2018, you know, your pit crew, your crew chief, whatever you want to, whatever they call, I don't really follow F1 that well. But I know in the game, 
they'll tell you when to pit, they come up with strategies and stuff. It'd be cool if you could actually communicate with your team a little bit in this series. Uh, I, th I just think it would add another level of realism. So that'd be kind of neat. So we're going to wob it up here. Probably way too early, but that's what I was afraid of. So. Too fast. Too, too fast. fast. You've got to slow down. Black flag, black flag. All right, well, that's okay. We weren't going to do anything good anyway. No time. We don't have any damage. We'll tape it up a little bit. That might be too much. We'll just go with 40. Cool. So we're going to get our first green flag pit stop of our career here. That's pretty cool. Wow, they move like molasses. Halt. Kind of reminds me of Darth Vader. Hmm. What's he looking at? And now they just disappear. <laughs> well, so that's a pit stop. Here in NASCAR heat. Should we the page the field? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just kind of testing to see if they were going to tell me not to merge yet. That didn't happen. We almost spun out. <laughs> but we're back on the track. We're moving. And we're two laps down, so. That was cool. If anything else happens eventful, I'll bring you guys back in. So it looks like we picked up a spot. Uh, Robbie Lyons. As I came across the line there, I happened to notice when they were all coming down pit road that there was a lot of smoke coming from one section. Uh, it looks like that's Robbie Lyon's car, so, or truck, so. We won't get last. Uh, looks like we'll get 30th. And that penalty killed us, so, I mean, <laughs> there was no hope for anything at that point, so. Uh, no one should be up here. Uh, there's still some. You can see him down there on the left-hand side. Looks like there's still some trucks down there, but... We're, we are a lap down, so this means nothing to us. They all pit at the same time. That's I don't know how I feel about the entire field pitting at the same time. No one's really going off sequence, so it doesn't seem like the computer understands strategy or anything like that, but at least they're a little bit smarter about when they pit. They're not you know, passing up pitting on a caution for a stage. And then coming down under the green flag conditions. Go, Definitely holding him up one here one a little bit. Yeah, I'll let Justin go. Looks like John's coming behind us too. We'll let him go. We'll get the free pass at least. And we might as well put four tires on it. Yeah. So what does that put us with laps left? Being out here. So, someone's blowing up smoking like a chimney up ahead. That bunches up the whole field. Oh wow, we're 19th. Two laps to go. Can we get... No, we can't. But... Uh, can we? Alright, we're gonna just put the brake in the block and... Wow, they are close. Wow. <laughs> that that was a fail. Inside, inside, inside. I tried. <laughs> that was a failed block attempt. We're not gonna pit. Only because if we get a good restart. This is a sanctioned NASCAR event over time. <laughs> First time we're seeing that. I'm gonna. They're not black flagging me for that, so they'll black flag me for speeding, but not for getting a nose under the going to the line on the bottom. Take it. Let's we're in 22nd, 23rd. How good of a finish can we actually manage here? Should have just stayed on the bottom and blocked Joe. I didn't. Well, they wanted to push the three wide. Okay, okay. You, you can have it. Go ahead, guys. 
Alright, we'll let them race. We're in 30th. Well, he's 28th. We're 29th. Gilliland must have been the one who blew up. Maybe someone in the comments section can explain to me how Todd Gilliland blows up, holds up the field, and he's reeling me back in. Like, didn't you just blow an engine? Yet you're still catching me. I know I'm slow. Well, he's going to run out of time at least, so. 29th. Doesn't pass the hot seat challenge, but it's not last for the hot seat challenge either, so. That will do it for this race. I'm just going to kind of skip through all this here. It doesn't really mean anything to us right now, so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our set and set back to where they were, and we're going to go do some dirt racing. How many fans did we get? 12 fans, so that's 279. Yeah, we missed out. And next, we're going to the fair. That tagger. Let's just change our settings. There we go. Now, the stand-ins are what we were going to look at before we went to this race. We have myself, Hugh Ackerman, and Michelle Baker Dillon with wins. Everyone else is in on points right now. That's about all we need, I guess, for this time being. Uh, we just saw... Well, actually, let's take a look at the statistics real quick. 42 races, 7 top 10, 6 top 5s, 4 wins. In the... Well, 4 of those... I'm reading the top total. Just... I'm not stupid. I can see that it's 38 for the dirt, but we had the 4 Camp and World Truck Series starts in there as well. But for the dirt, 38 starts, 4 wins, 7 top 10s, and 6 top 5s. So, decent standing, or decent uh, statistics there. Let's go ahead and just pop right into Taggart. And we're going to just shoot right to qualify and right to the race. We're not going to uh, waste any time here uh, looking at anything and whatnot. We're going right for it because we are on I'm watching the time here. And I would like to get one more part in here without making it too, too long for you guys. So, let's get that set up, get that set up. There we go. And I was about to look for third gear, and I remembered that Dirt only has two. I do like Taggart. It's a nice wide sweeping turn, so you just gotta really get the entrance nailed. Can't just do what I just did. Can't just do what I just did. Hm. There we go. Bring it down. Get on the accelerator. Probably not a top 10, yeah, 17. So we're on the bottom. Nobody fail anything <laughs> to go to the back of the pack. Thank you, we're 17. So getting right into it here. We're kind of hitting the meat and potatoes of this dirt season right now. It's go home if you can't hang. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just. Uh, how about I shut up for a minute Coming here and let's just go racing. Be ready. So, ready. reflex out of Taggart, and we are going. We're gonna. Ch we got a big start there on the bottom, and we are gonna try to chase down our fifth victory of the season. A little contact there, a little contact there. While we are leaning on Debazio, there is Lopka comes underneath us, going through turns three and four. Innovation racing's up here. That's crazy. teammate Casey Brooks, right behind our teammate Brady Lewis. Maybe we can make some room down here. Yeah, not enough. Eli Lipson, I know we can get around him. He's, he's slow. I don't know what he's doing down here. We're the real 99. Not him. There we go. See ya. I'd like to think that we have a fast enough car to get the win here. Taggart's a fast track, and we gotta have some speed. We definitely have it in this car. I think I just botched up qualifying a little bit there on that lap, and... Oh, 
sorry, Brady. You ran into me, Hugh. That's your fault. I'm not taking the blame for that one. He ran into the back of me, and he couldn't hold on to his own car. That's his fault. Seventh place, we're going to restart inside line. I predict we could probably come off of turn two and third. I think we can get to third off of turn two. Oh, it's my teammate. I don't want to hit him too hard, so I had to. I hooked it a little bit. Fifth place, so. I'm not going to try to wreck my teammate, but he's giving me room down there, so I'm going to take it. I think he came down more than I put up in that turn, so. I'm going to catch Dan Goodman to get the win. I would like to get the win, but it's not entirely necessary of a win compared to how it went here. We just keep racing our top fives. I'm happy with that. That's what we need. It's pulling on me a little bit, so. Drove it in real hard that time. Let's see if we can gain any time from him. Running some fast laps here. Move the car up just a groove. Let's see what that does. So I'm gonna take back what I said about five star teams being a little low key in this. don't necessarily win every week because you're in a five-star team. I mean, granted, we're not running any custom setups because we're in a five-star team. We want to do it without it. Only because I was afraid that we would just blow the doors off the field. And Elliot Henderson's coming. Halfway. Halfway here. But, yeah, so... Maybe through the lap traffic we can catch Dan. I think that's what happened. Don't hit the wall, William. Okay. Oh, I didn't expect a lot of her best of the never mind. Get him out of there. Leave my teammate alone. There we go. Maybe we'll catch back up in lap traffic if we get to any. Just that caution, I kind of do some things off here. Fast. He's hanging with us. Do we contact? No, we don't. We actually beat him on the high side. Red line in our second gear right now. He's just sticks. I can't do what he's doing. I need a little bit. Whatever he's got in that setup. Dan Goodman has hit lap traffic. Let's pop this back so we can see the leader's time. 4.6 back. We gotta fall back to fit. I mean, my line hasn't been that good. I'm not at all consistent right now, but. Man, stay off the wall. Brown just got underneath me. Michelle Baker Dillon's not too far behind. Whoops. Evan's gonna be mad about that. So that costs. Oh, there's five laps. Let's see. On the restart, I think we can get to the front. But I don't want to win the race this way. I'm not gonna pass Dan Goodman. I. It feels right, cheap. To the green. Be ready here. I don't know. I know my competitive side will tell me just do it. Inside, inside. Right. Good 
side's getting the better of me. But we can have an epic battle for it. I'm okay with that. We're on the white flag. Nobody gets me there. Oh, Michelle Baker Dillon goes underneath me. We drive it hard underneath Dan. But we slide. No! We got him. He did take the lead back, and we came back and took it from him, so I can live with that. Let's go ahead and do a burnout. Not the cleanest way to get the win, bringing out a caution, but it wasn't an intentional wreck. Honestly, I didn't think we hit him that hard. Oh, no. Just ran into him. Yeah, well, that's all for that. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So, let's see. Should get some good money. 11 dollars. Hat and keychain. Hat and a couple keychains. Okay. And that was Dan Goodman's ticket to get punched into the playoffs, and we took it from him. I still feel bad about that. I know it's just a game, but you know, there's a certain aspect of, I guess, I don't know respect maybe to the AI you know you don't want to beat them dirty like that but eh, it is what it is so we are finished with Taggart 22 fans will put us uh, that should put us at 301 yep there it is Your stats are starting to look pretty good with those five lifetime wins keep them coming Oh, that's Johnny Sauter. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, I apologize. I didn't think we really hit that hard, but... Uh, I owe you an apology. You didn't see all the angry tweets? Alright. So, that's done. And we got dirt. Some feelers. Alright, well, let's go ahead and look at that. They have four. We're already with play fast. They have four, so we'll do play fast. So we have the Falcon and we have play fast motorsports. Nothing in the trucks. Yeah, the reason why we're looking at those teams, they have four, they have four, they have three. They have three, they have two. So we kind of just balance out the team with the, you know, with the other four stars and with the other five stars. So let's go ahead. Let's do Vegas real quick. And that should do it. I know with these hot seats, the videos are have been a little bit longer. Uh, it's just because we're just trying to get everything all in one shot. So to save a little bit of time, we're going to come back for the race. We're going to cut here. And uh, we'll be back for the Pilot Flying J50. All right, so we're about to take the green flag here. Qualified 13th, so it wasn't too bad. It could have been better. I just I whacked the wall coming off of uh, turn two, and then I drove it real deep into turn three and four. And made up a little bit of time, but damage was already done on that lap. So green flag is out, and we are underway. We're gonna get a good jump here on the field, like we tend to do each race. And we're gonna try to work our way up through here without making too, too much contact. We're gonna just try to stay low, stay off these guys, not make any too harsh of contact on any of these drivers. We're just gonna try to stay clean, and see what we can do, just as I say it. We beat up CJ Boswell into we beat up the wall. There we go. Red line up a little bit there. Yeah, we're redlining going into these corners. 
This is the first time I'm seeing that. Well, at this track anyway. With these preset setups, so. Might have a fast enough car to get to the front. Get our sixth win. Wow, Michelle Baker Dillon all over the place. She was bicycling up there in turn. Two. We're gonna make a little contact there. Twenty to go. Can we chase down Todd DeGare and Elliot Henderson? I have a feeling we might catch him, but it, if we can't catch him on speed, but I feel like we'll definitely catch him on that traffic. Yeah, it's gonna have to be in the black traffic, I think, because I'm just not feeling this race. I don't know why, it feels, I just don't feel fast. I mean, we're fast, but I'm just looking for fast enough to win. And that kind of raises a couple red flags for me. I feel like as we're going to get ready into the playoffs, in the beginning, you know, we went 4-4, four four. we were killing it. Kind of felt like we were shooting to get the championship this season. And, uh, Eldora kind of threw me for a loop because the guys who run up towards the front, they tend to stay up there each week. And they beat me out at Eldora. Suddenly we go from, you know, champ to chump. So that'll be interesting. Time to tell. Ah, in the wall again, but we have caught the tail into the field, so we're about to see what these two have. Do I let Elliot get a win for my teammate to make sure he gets in the playoffs? No. We won't. To. Gotta earn it. And we're gonna try to get under Elliot here. We do. Swing under J. Martin here. A little contact with the right rear. More. Clear outside. I just want to turn right into Daniel Britton. Todd the Gear. Good old time. Oh, sorry, Aubrey. Talk about trying to run a clean race and we're just smack back and door to door with all these cars. So we got Anthony DeFazio in front of us. I think that's Dan Goodman up ahead of him. I didn't see the number. 17. Yeah, that's Dan Goodman. So, moving through him. Uh, it looks like Lawrence Schneider, Scott Hay, and Hugh Ackerman, Ackerman up ahead. Ahead of them looks like Sean Wilson. back and I was like Brian McCabe and then there's our teammate Casey Brooks in front of him. So we're gonna get under Lauren here. Car got real sideways. I'm gonna try to get Sean Wilson. Just driving in real deep and that's why we're redlining I think. We just had a uh, sanctioned NASCAR over at time at Chicago Land. Was it Chicago Land or Iowa? Keep your head on straight. Wow. Be ready here. Rain farts all day. Couple more turns. Two 
So two to go. Tight. Todd gear has got a shot at getting us here. Part really stuck to the line there. And the wall. I think we got it. There we go. Another victory. I'll take it. And we're not going to do the burnout in this one. Can we skip it? There we go. So we got the win. That's our total take home. 17550 19 Is it $14? $15. So our our merch is paying a little bit more so too, so that's good. So that's our sixth win of this season, guys. Six wins in three seasons. Took us a while to get here. Getting hot seat rides with the trucks, dominating the dirt. It's a good feeling. So let's go take a look at a couple things real quick, and then that'll probably do it for this episode. We're at 317 fans, and a message from our mentor. This season is almost over, and I'm proud of you. I think all your hard work will pay off. Cool. I'm hoping it does, too. Thank you. Ah, I see some angry ones. CJ, yeah, I know. No, no, thank you, teammate. He's my only teammate to congratulate me. All right, so our next video, we will be coming back. Okay, so we're gonna have Richmond, and it looks like we'll have a hot seat ride. Uh, can we get a little taste of what we got coming up? Let's see. It looks like it's going to be Pocono. So what? Uh, Pocono. Okay. And I don't think they'll give us any heat, uh, hot seats for these races here. So I think that might be our final one. Why couldn't they make it Eldora? They made it Pocono. So Pocono. We probably won't get hot seats for these two here. So this should be our last one. And then we can really get to focus in on... Um, the dirt. So next episode, we'll probably have Richmond, Pocono for the hot seat, and Dreben. And then we have Jefferson, Taggart, Charlotte, and Eldora. Maybe we'll do some cutting and we'll get it all into one uh, episode. And then we'll, from there, we'll have our, or we'll do those three and we'll do Eldora in a separate one and that will carry over into our off season. And then maybe some Daytona trucks. That sounds good to me. Standings, we are definitely in control of, of their, our destiny kind of in this one. <laughs> Doing good. Everything looks good there. Michelle Baker, Dylan second. Hugh Ackerman third. Todd Laguerre fourth. Elliot Henderson, Brady Lewis, Evan Brown, and CJ Boswell. So two of our teammates are in. Uh, how far out is Casey? All right, he's way out. He's in 18th, so. That'll do it, guys. We are... We're winning a lot of races in the dirt. We're getting the hot seats in the trucks, so it's been a lot of fun. Hope you all enjoyed this. This is part 14. Stay tuned, and uh, part 15 should be out tomorrow. Hope you all have a wonderful day. If you haven't already and you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. I will see you all in the next part. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.